Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today's lunch I'm going to be cooking lentils with clams. So let's begin. We shall begin with turning the heat on. So let's turn this heat up to high today. And I'm going to add about three tablespoons of good old olive oil which is good for you and we'll just wait for that to slightly heat up well once the oil is hot or sort of hot I'm going to turn the heat down to medium high and I'm going to add about half a small onion chopped up about three garlic cloves sliced and a bit of red pepper if you want this is this has been frozen if you want to watch the video on how I freeze it my red peppers or any pepper I'll leave a link down in the description so we will soften this up nicely Right, so once this is nicely softened up, what I shall do is add about three tablespoons of fried tomato sauce. I'm going to crumble in a fish stock cube. I'll add a teaspoon of sweet paprika one bay leaf looks like a mouse has been on that no it hasn't and I'll just put in a bit of water so that the paprika doesn't burn and I'll mix it about a bit that's it and we just let that dissolve there for about five minutes so after about five minutes what I'll do is um, add about three small potatoes which I've cubed up in bite-sized bits and I'll add some salt and I'll just cover it all with some water just make sure that the potatoes are covered and I'll move it about and I'm going to turn this up full heat cover it, I'll leave a little, a little gap and we'll leave it there to boil until the potatoes are al dente which means not soft, not hard in between right so let's check these potatoes let's do a stab check yes they've been there for about 10 minutes and they're just how I want them to be al dente so the next step will be to add my can you see them they're, they're from a jar lentils they're already cooked from a jar I've rinsed them and I'll just add them there I'll cover it up again and leave them there for five minutes all right then so it's been here for five minutes and this smelling delicious yummy yummy the sauce is thickening up nicely 
So what I'll do next is add my frozen clams. You may have noticed that I use a lot of clams. That's because I always keep about five, four or five kilos in my freezer. These clams are very, very cheap. They're three euros fifty. Look how they're opening already. It amazes me all the time how they open. They're three euros fifty a kilo. Very, very cheap. But that's because they're from the South Pacific. If they were the the nice Galician clams, which are a different colour to these, the shells are more of a grey colour and they're bigger, even though these are quite big, to be honest. Well, you're talking about 25, 30 euros a kilo. And there's no way that I'm paying that amount for some shells, you know. You know, for 30 euros, I'd rather buy five or six kilos of pig, pig meat. What do you think? Would you buy, would you pay 30 euros for a kilo of shells? Or do you prefer buying pig meat? Four, six kilos? Let me know in the comments. Right, so I've added these there and I'm going to whack the heat up cover them up and we'll leave them there for 10 minutes so five minutes to bring to the boil and five minutes of cooking time okay so then five minutes are over and this is done look at that Whee. so we're gonna let it cool down a bit let's turn the engines off and we'll move it to one side let it cool down a bit and I'll dish it up so let's serve this up shall we oops that's my darling wife coming home just in time for lunch Way look at that. Let's add some juice for the bread. Let's add a bit more. Lovely jubbly. Well, that is today's lunch sorted. What do you think? Will you be making it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.